Yo, hello, welcome. So I've been playing Lost Ark since day one. I have almost 3000 hours on the game. So here are seven tips to make the game more enjoyable. Tips more like focus on making more gold, making your character better or the gameplay easier. And most importantly, focusing on making the experience better. That's the last one we're going to talk about. And before we get into the game, there's something I always focus on, which is having fun, but also the amount of time it takes you to have the fun. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is making gold. So the general idea when I ask anybody making gold in Lost Ark would be doing raids. But that's not the only way and it takes a lot of time. Raids are fun in my opinion, but they're not a good source of gold only. So you have your case dungeon guardian raids. So the idea that I look at it is the amount of time you take to make that gold. So there is versions of making gold that are very simple like automated gold. I always talk about crafting stuff in the stronghold. I made so many videos about it. I'll leave the latest one down below so you, if you want to check it. And the idea is to make gold without putting the effort. Might not always be working but some of the time it will be working and it's really good. Also timed events. So some of the timed events make you a lot of gold and they, they don't take a lot of time. That's the most important thing. You don't spend a lot of time. You make a good amount of gold yes maybe doing a raid would make you more gold but the idea here is that you want to compare the amount of time you spend to the amount of time the amount of gold you're making second thing i want to talk about is the value of the items you get you don't necessarily do this all the time but there are a few things that you know have to do this is the value of the item you get like from raids or cassandra guard raids sometimes you might just an item because you right clicked it you looked at the market and nobody's selling it or maybe someone said we're too low someone said we're too high you that's why you want to try to understand things and maybe that's a bit hard but one of the things that i would say the easiest thing to do is for tripods your character doesn't only play with the builds you play that's something you want to keep in mind so tripods maybe check the other build and what tripods they use so you could sell them especially for like new characters like reaper for example or some of the, these new characters tripods will sell for a bit more than old characters the newer the character like for example the new character Aero, uh, aeromancer i think when it drops these characters tribus will serve for high and you want to know every tribe that you're getting so it maybe take a few more seconds or minutes to understand the items and maybe get more gold okay third thing is being prepared and using different builds and buffs so when you do a raid get for example let's talk about the most simple thing doing kills gate so like the easiest thing you can do is switching your gear set to for example betrayal that's simple also you can switch your build to have a ks dungeon build that's something will help you a lot it might it will take you a few seconds to switch your builds or you can even just set it up to be always automated to switch from here if you want like that or just making it like me where i switch build like this i mean it's, it's old school but whatever and just taking that few seconds will save you a lot of time and it will make it more enjoyable and most importantly when i say that is understanding the raid for example when you do raids some of the raids you could switch some stuff like for example adding that purifier rune when you do like first gate in vault and back then in the day or adding a purifier rune when you do clown on gear power since your the burn is going to be annoying adding this adding more stagger for the first gate of clown adding more stagger for a few gates in Shaza or having better counters for some gates these things are kind of important it takes a few seconds to understand but once you understand it you're gonna have more fun okay so yeah next thing is making alls in low star so this is i'm not gonna talk about this a lot but there is something very important i want to say is when you make alts and the idea as i hear a lot of players who say make alts to make more gold cool whatever not, not necessarily true not necessarily wrong but the most important thing is making an alt in lost Ark. make us that you enjoy don't make us that you don't enjoy because making all that you don't enjoy you're not gonna actually make a lot of things like i made multiple faults in early on and i then i didn't know which alt i didn't find any other alts that i like so i made glavier which i liked it early on but i didn't like later on and then i deleted it when the new characters came out that's the idea is that if you don't enjoy them you're not gonna play them I'm, I'm speaking for experience, maybe you're different, but that's the general idea. Yeah, so next thing, but before that, if you've been enjoying this so far, consider liking this video. Now, making a character, which is the same idea as making an alt, make a plan. This is very, very important in my opinion. Making a plan to the character you're making is so important for so many reasons. The idea is making the plan for the amount of tribats you're willing to spend, the amount of gold you're willing to spend, the tribats you're gonna get. The amount of stats you're gonna get, the engravings, the gems, everything. 
some of the characters you're gonna make they're not gonna feel good unless you get them things i'll talk for example my artillerist here i play barrage mode and i play firepower for example the barrage mode build is a bit annoying because if you don't have the amount the load on some of the abilities that make you get barrage mode faster or having the wolf runes will make your rotations feel annoying or not having high enough spec will make your your rotations a bit annoying that goes the same thing for a lot of different classes the classes need scale need a specific amount of scaling for them to have fun so you might feel like this class doesn't feel so good and i have talked about this a lot which is how to pick a class and how to pick a build in Lost Ark and I've talked about this in a lot of videos is the idea that you want to know how and when does your character shine okay now understanding the second last last of few things is understanding your class this is very important in my opinion I enjoy my character so much more because I understood the class really well and I, that's that's which, which allows me to make different builds for the character that I would have fun you might just go online and find the build for a character, right? And then you play that build and be like, this build is fun, but it's missing something. Usually, a lot of thing, a lot of players will make a build around something they want, which most of the time is about needing more damage. But that's not always the case. You could lose a bit more damage to have more mobility if that's something more enjoyable, because having maxed out damage not necessarily gonna make you deal a lot of damage, because playing the, the braid. It's not a stationary boss the boss is gonna move the boss is gonna try to kill you so you wanna play something you can play so that comes when understanding your character and then when also you understand your character you can be better prepared which i talked about being better prepared for raid like having the right abilities for the stagger for example when i go do brocal i understand my character i understand which abilities i can get stuns for better and i don't need to look it up i can just do it myself or having the right abilities having the shields knowing what my character shines in and that will make you also understand how to play that character more and the most important thing from understanding your character is how does your character deal damage that's one of the things that i, I talk about a lot is knowing that your character can deal a, a amount of damage x amount of damage but how like for example the barrage character here i deal two thirds of my damage from barrage mode that's why having a gym for barrage mode makes me deal a lot of damage so like i get 10 percent extra damage for having a level 9 right now this level 9 gym from a level level to level 9 increases by 10 percent but how much damage do i actually get now i kind i do get an overall damage of 6.7 percent because barrage mode already contributes two thirds of my damage in my build this is not exact numbers but give or take now when you look at another early ability like homing barrage this ability deals the whole my whole attacks here deals one third of my damage and this is one of the damaging abilities let's say this is the highest one and there is like five damaging abilities I have and this is the highest one of them so this ability would deal a dent if i increase it by 10 percent i'm gonna get an overall damage of one percent see the difference here you're gonna get the same level 9 gem for both of them but one will give you an overall 6.7 percent damage and one will give you an overall one percent damage same thing goes for characters like ha that have constant buffs and knowing how to always make the rotation for them. So understanding your character will make the character more enjoyable and make the experience for you better. Now the last thing, it's a personal a personal thing for me is that having party and raiding party or having communities that you can play with is so much more fun. I personally don't like playing games alone. Maybe you like that, but I think most of most players would enjoy having a party. Try to have a raiding party. Try, like I'll uh, for for me for example, the ways I find raiding parties is simple. I just always, whenever I play an MMO, I make I have a Discord. I just tell players I play with that I find normal, like I find it enjoyable to play with. Join my Discord, something like that. We can play it next week, and this makes it more fun. And it could happen for you. Just do that, or maybe join communities that already exist, stuff like that. But having a party to raid with will and make the raiding party enjoyable, make the game a better experience. I hear a lot of people before that have friends from games that they played with, stuff like that. So this idea of having a raiding party could make the raids more enjoyable, but they also can go long term for other things like maybe playing different things in the game or just talking about the games, talking about ideas about it. That general thing will make the game not just a game, it will be an experience where you can have the most amount of fun in it. So yeah that's all i have for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you next one goodbye